Let's prune your mixed review. Now it's time to look at the data for your class and make some decisions. Select your class and collapse the first column and select mixed review and collapse that column as well. Let's take a look at our top level metrics. The first metric I want to look at is points distribution. This is defined as all points earned for this class. Points earned should be weighed in favor of mixed review. You can hover over each of the pie pieces to see the number of points that have been earned in each of those environments. Remember, more time in mixed review is going to build your student's long-term retention. The next metric is active skills. Teachers often want to know what is a good number here. Well, that depends on your other metrics. So let's take a look at the next one, rotation time. This is the median number of days it takes your students to correctly cycle through all skills in mixed review. A rotation time of 101 days indicates there are skills your students haven't seen in over three months. We advise keeping that number somewhere below 30. We may need to look at how many skills are active and deactivate some of them. The next metric is accuracy. The average percentage of time your students in your class answer correctly on the first attempt. We want that number to be as high as possible. 17% is really low. Let's look and see how we can make these metrics better. Down below are all the skills that your students have in mixed review. We expose the proficient students column, but you can use this icon to open up more columns so that you have more data to analyze. Maybe the issue is we have too many active skills and your students can't cycle through them enough. By ordering the proficient students column, this will give us a great picture of how our students are doing on each skill. Let's take a look at the first skill. 100% of my students are proficient, which means all of my students have earned either green, silver, or gold color ratings on that skill. If I decide I want to remove this skill from my student's mixed review, since all of my students have mastered it, I have two options to consider. Should I deactivate or delete? When you deactivate a skill, the data related to that skill is still included in all data reports. You also have the option to easily turn that skill back on someday in the future, since the skill will remain listed in the mixed review report. Most teachers decide to delete a skill if it is too hard for their students or they have no intention of ever using it again. Remember, while both actions result in a slimmer mixed review for your students, you want to consider your plans for the future. If you never plan to turn the skill back on, delete it. If it's a skill that you may want to turn back on someday, deactivate it. Another way to look for skills that you might be able to deactivate are common skills. So order by description. As you can see, I have a skill here that is going to classify triangles by angles and sides, and a separate one that's going to ask them to classify by sides. They're doing really well in the second one, so why not turn that off since it is addressed in the other skill? Another option might be to order by date added and find similar skills within the same date. This first skill is going to ask students to graph an inequality, and the skill below it asks students to solve and graph. If students can solve and graph, do I really need the skill for just graphing? So turn that one off as well. Mm -hmm.